Black Ops Cold War came out almost a year ago at the time of recording this video, and it's still just a buggy and unfun mess most of the time. Like, I don't know how nine months into a game like this, we could still have this many problems at, at this point in time. And that's not to say the game is all bad, I don't really like it that much, the multiplayer just doesn't do it for me for some reason, I, I don't know exactly what it is. But I'm, I just don't really have fun playing multiplayer, they're hardly giving us any content in zombies, and the campaign was, it was good, but I'm, I'm never gonna play it again. Like, I won't even go through all the challenges, I beat the game on uh, realistic, and, and that was about all I needed, honestly. So, the game is not horrible overall, it's just not great. Like, I loved Modern Warfare 2019. Despite all its issues, uh, personal things aside, I think Modern Warfare 2019 is a great game. The engine's amazing. I like the modern setting. I've always, per like, loved modern weapons as well as, like, World War II. And I just thought the gunplay and everything in, in Modern Warfare was really good. In Black Ops, it just feels so toned down. Cause, I mean, I know Black Ops Cold War is playing on a different engine as opposed to the Modern Warfare 2019 engine. It, it just, it feels so off. I mean, of course, yes, you can move quickly, which I do like, as opposed to Modern Warfare, where, you know, you're a little heavier set, but I just feel like Cold War should not have the problems that it has. It, uh, it's owned by Activision, like, Call of Duty is owned by Activision, a multi-billion dollar company. They have more than enough resources for developers to make the best game possible, but of course they just want to release a new COD every year because it prints money. It doesn't really matter if it's good or not, what the general community thinks, because the vast majority of people probably aren't online voicing their opinions about this game. That's probably a vocal minority. A lot of people are super casual and aren't on Reddit or making YouTube videos or watching a ton of YouTube videos about these subjects. There has not been a single time in the past couple months here that I have played Cold War and not encountered some sort of bug, whether it be big or small. Now, look Luckily, I myself haven't had too many graphical problems in terms of like things looking like Play-Doh or textures not loading in. I do play the game on an Xbox Series X, so I do suppose that helps a good amount. But people who are playing on last-gen consoles or even with a, a subpar PC are having a lot of like graphical issues, gameplay issues, things of that nature. Whereas mine for multiplayer aren't super major. The main problems I have with multiplayer are some of the unlocks and things, like they just don't go away. I know that was an issue for a while with like when they released Samantha Maxis as an operator bundle. I bought her and that stupid icon of saying, hey, you got something new, did not go away. It took them like a month to fix that. It's the minor things, the, the super small things that you kind of overlook at some point, but they just start to add up. Because you have that thing with Samantha Maxis where that, that notification wouldn't go away. In multiplayer, if you're using prestige keys, like I do on like weapon blueprints that they just added, it still tells me there's a new weapon blueprint, though I have the three that are available at the time I'm recording this video. And I'm not really coming after Treyarch for this, because I'm sure Activision supersedes a lot of the decisions that they want to make, but you would think that, again, multi-million, billion dollar company here would at least have a lot of the good quality of life things. And, of course, I love the FOV slider in Cold War. I, you know, I've adjusted my sensitivity, my audio presets. Everything is good settings-wise for me on my console. It's just those minute things. Uh, admittedly, multiplayer doesn't have a ton of issues in terms of these bugs and stuff. You, you, it's a whole other topic if you're talking about gunplay and weapon balance and all that. That's not really what I'm discussing here. Multiplayer is pretty good in that aspect of I'm not really encountering too many bugs in the multiplayer side. Of course, you have some of the, you know, people kill you from around the corner and you don't see them. That might just be some server issues, whatever, whatever happens there. A lot of my issues actually come from zombies because I don't like Cold War's multiplayer that much. It just feels like uninspired to me. Like, I just don't have fun playing it. And the only way that they capture my attention is when they release an old map because... People don't care anymore, they just want remakes of old maps because they know, oh, we're gonna bait you with nostalgia from Black Ops 2 because we know that was a good game and this one's subpar, it feels like a mobile game, really. So they just keep releasing old maps that, admittedly, they're good, fun maps, but give me something new. Say what you will about Modern Warfare's map selection, a few of them are really good, and while they did have remakes, they had a lot of unique and different maps that we hadn't seen before. Of course, you got the issues like Piccadilly or people don't like uh, Azir Cave. I still liked a good amount of the maps in Modern Warfare. It felt different enough to me as opposed to the traditional three-lane map structure, which, of course, there is a bunch of maps that are still like that, but there's enough various routes. That is besides the point. Multiplayer, 
doesn't have a ton of bugs. It has some, but luckily I don't encounter those. Zombies is where I'm seeing a lot of the problems. Like, I don't know what happened in the most recent update, but it has, like, destroyed my ability to play zombies. So, they recently added blueprints or custom blueprints to the zombies mode. So, say you pick up a weapon off the wall or from the mystery box, uh, a challenge drops it. If you pick up a gun and you had a created uh, a custom blueprint previously, you can apply that to your weapon. That's an amazing feature. I love the, the features they have in Black Ops Cold War Zombies in terms of like the perks, the upgrades, like field upgrades, things of that nature. I love how you can do your own blueprint, but it's just so buggy in that regard. Like half the time when I equip a blueprint, it doesn't give me the right blueprint. Like I got to re-equip it like two, three times in order for it to do the right one that I made. And of course, that's not super major because it does fix itself after I apply it a couple times, but I shouldn't have to apply it a couple times to get what I selected at first in a game headed by a multi-million dollar company. I've had issues where even applying a blueprint will, like, copy the weapon. So, like, even without Mule Kick, I can have, like, three weapons out. Of course, two of them are going to be the same gun. One has the blueprint, one doesn't. It's, it's very weird. Equipping a blueprint has, um, like I said, given me that extra weapon, but then, like, get rid of all the camos and everything I had, which is also weird. It, it's the small things, which that adds up. Like, that's super annoying. When I pack a gun, it's, you know, it's got my camo on it. It's got all this good stuff. And then, like, oh, crap, got to put the blueprint on, or I pick up a weapon and put the blueprint on. It's the wrong blueprint, or it just copies the gun, and now I'm screwed. And what you're going to see in the gameplay here is I literally had my SMG here and then I had a Pellington that I had got from the box or, or something. It dropped somewhere and I got a Pellington. I could not swap out that Pellington for literally anything. You can see me going up buying wall weapons, buying weapons from the box, and it will take my money. It won't give me the gun. Like, how are, how are these problems that are persisting? And like I said, I, I'm not doubting that the people at Treyarch are working hard to either fix problems, make the game better, things of that nature, but like, we are nine months into a game that I don't care how long it took to develop because the old CODs only took a year to develop and they felt more polished in many aspects. I mean, I thought Modern Warfare was pretty damn polished at the start. Of course, you had weapon balancing issues, but I don't recall seeing major, like, gameplay bugs that we're seeing here. It's just a little bit ridiculous that... In a mode like Zombies, which I'd say is probably the best part of Black Ops Cold War, that's not really saying much, though, that we have this many bugs. People have a lot of issues with multiplayer in terms of skill-based matchmaking, balancing, things of that nature. Again, all that's besides the point. I can't believe that Cold War came out in November and it still has some problems like this. Now, of course, you're not going to negate every single problem ever, there's always going to be some sort of an issue. An update may have botched something, but, like, it just takes too long, and I feel like Treyarch's, like, silent half the time. Most of the developers are. Like, they're not as active in the community as they should be. Let us know exactly, hey, we heard, you know, this shit is going on. We're going to fix it. Don't worry. Here's the ETA on it. Like, give us a moment. We're going to figure this out. I swear it's like radio silence when I'm, when I'm like, playing this game and trying to figure something out. And we're hardly getting any content. It, I mean, it's drip-fed. Which, that's the price you pay for having free DLC, which, don't get me wrong, I love the free DLC. Like, not buying a season pass, you're not alienating part of the community that doesn't want to pay 50 bucks for a season pass. But when we've only had a total of three round-based zombies maps, only one of them was at launch, like, that's not enough content. And maybe that is issues with development time, maybe that's issues with the pandemic and everything going on, but regardless, don't like, don't release a game if it's super unfinished. COD would be better off in a two to three year in between each game. Modern Warfare 2019 should not have been like a one and done. Of course, Warzone is a giant thing. That should be its own separate thing. I shouldn't have to have everything installed like Modern Warfare with Warzone. Just make Warzone its own thing. COD should not have a yearly release. Like, it just would make the game so much better. It, you, you get more bang for your buck, obviously, because it's going to last longer. The things you unlock and, and worked for are going to mean something more to you because it's not like, oh, man, it's August. The new game's coming out in two months. There, there's no reason to grind for any of this. Of course, Warzone has changed a lot of that with all the integration and different things you can do with your unlocks. But regardless, like, I have no want to grind Black Ops Cold War. It's just not fun. It hasn't been for a while now. It was it was great at launch, and I just got super bored really quick. I don't know exactly what it is. I can't exactly pinpoint it, but I absolutely played the living hell 
out of Modern Warfare 2019. So I know COD still interests me. Cold War just doesn't do it for me. It's still buggy. It's still not very fun to play. This game should not have the issues that it does. And I know people in the comments might be like, well, then take a break from COD. Like, don't buy COD. I'm a sheep. I'm, I buy COD, like, every year. I'm holding out on Vanguard until I see or play the game, like, in an open beta, because I don't have a PlayStation. So I'm waiting to get a little bit more gameplay, but that's kind of what happened with Cold War. Is like, I played the beta, and I'm like, yeah, this is fun. Bought the game, and I just lost interest. So I'm hoping Vanguard fixes a lot of these problems. It is running on the Modern Warfare engine which is a great engine to have COD running on. Like, the game looks amazing, and I like the sound and everything. So hopefully Vanguard turns things around. I think Treyarch, the past two games, has really dropped the ball. Black Ops 4 sucked, absolutely hated it. And Black Ops Cold War just isn't fun. It's, I mean, I, I don't know what it is. COD has definitely lost, lost its charm in a lot of ways, but it's still there uh, on some of the releases here. Like Modern Warfare 2019, I think it's got a lot of charm. I love that game. It's one of my favorite CODs, honestly. Cold War does not do it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you still play Cold War? Like, do you have fun with it? Do you encounter a lot of these bugs and issues? Or is this, like, an isolated incident? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheerio, mates!